Alright, so in the previous video I spoke about this ADS1015 ADC. So in this video I'm going to show you how to wire it up and uh, a little bit of programming too. So, to start with, I'll show you what I've got. I've got a mini breadboard, I've got a load of wires, I've got a 10k um, potentiometer. You could use a 10k, uh, well any 10k potentiometer will do. You could actually use a 5 or a 20k probably too, without any major problem. But I recommend 10k. I've got an Arduino Nano. Again, you could use Pro Mini. Um, you could probably use any Arduino, but I'm just going to use the Nano. And of course, I've got the um, the, the ADC, the ADS1015. That's right here. So, you're also going to need a voltmeter. Well, I'm using a voltmeter anyway, just to show you. Right, so let's start wiring this up. So I'll just push the Nano in. Be sure to have the USB side at this side, of course, because otherwise it's going to get in the way of components. So, um, let's push this in now. So, we'll push the ADC in. Okay, so now we want the first pin to 5 volts, wherever that is. There it is, 5 volts. Push that into there. Second pin is ground. So the second pin goes to ground, wherever ground is, where's, there's ground. Then the third pin, if I remember rightly, is SCL, which is a 5. A 5. The next pin is SDA, I think, which is pin 4. And the next pin is... Uh, address, so we want address to go to ground, so connect that to ground. The next pin is um, alert, so we're not going to be using that one. So just skip one and then put the next one in. It should correspond to A0. So I'll have that one uh, flying for, for a minute. And I'll just push in the 10k potentiometer over here. Okay, that's pushed in. And then this middle lead here is going to go to the middle pin of the potentiometer. So now we need another 5 volt from there to any of the other pins of the potentiometer, like that. So I'll just explain what's going on here now. So, why have we got the potentiometer? Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get 5 volts from the Arduino, and I'm going to feed an amount of voltage from 0 to 5 into the, uh, the this ADC here. And the variable resistor is simply going to resist an amount of voltage. Um, so, we'll be able to control how much goes into the ADC from 0 to 5. So, that's why I've done it like that. And one more pin. The third pin of the uh, potentiometer needs to go to ground also. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to just zoom out and I'm going to bring the voltmeter into the scene. Let's just do that. I'll plug it in as well actually. So plug that in. Bring the voltmeter into the scene. And now I want to probe two voltages. I want to probe ground, like that, and I want to probe the purple pin, which is coming out of the voltmeter. And let's just put that right down. Put that right down to zero volts. Okay, so we're good to go. So check your wiring, and then uh, let's move on. Okay, when you've wired this up, just trying to adjust the potentiometer to try and get 3.07. Now let's go over to the PC and let's write a sketch and set this thing up. Right, so go to sketch and then go to include library and then go to manage libraries. And then you should be able to see type, topic, all and filter your search. So in filter your search, type in SDA Sorry, no, it's ADS. 
And then here you should be able to see Adafruit ADS1X15 by Adafruit, blah, blah, blah. So if you click on that, there should be an install button here. So click that install button and then restart Arduino. For me, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to bother. So anyway, when you're back on Arduino, then go to File, and then go to Examples, and then go down to Adafruit ADS, and then go to Single Ended. So let's make this bigger, and let's simplify it. So if you've got the ADS1015, like me, we don't need that line. Let's change this, 115200, which is what I usually use. Let's get rid of hello and let's get rid of these two lines. I'll talk about this in a minute. Let's get rid of the ADCs apart from zero. We want to keep this as simple as possible for the time being. And now control and U, upload. Of course you've got to make sure it's plugged in, um, which mine should be. Okay, so let's bring the serial console up. So control shift and M. And you can see that A in 0 is reading about 1024. So I said earlier to read into the ADC um, and therefore configure the potentiometer to, uh, to read in 3.07 volts. So why 3.07 volts and why are we getting 1024 when full scale should be 4096? Well, what happens is of the 4096, it's actually split into two. So minus 2000 to zero represents minus voltage and zero to 2000 represents plus voltage. So we do get 4096 uh, counts, but the first half are minus and the second half are plus. So you can only actually reach up to 2048 here and you could also reach minus 2048. So we're only reading in plus voltages into the Arduino, so therefore we can only get from 0 to 2048. And here you can see that there's uh, some stuff about gain, and this directly influences the output which we're going to get here. So at the moment I told you to read in 3.07 so if we get 4096 and divide that by 2, it's 2048. So 2048 would represent 6.144 volts. And therefore, because we're reading in 3.07 volts, which is half of that, we should be reading 1024. And we are. So, um, so that makes sense. That's because this one here, the gain two thirds, is the default gain. And um, I think the reason why they've done that is because they don't want you to damage your ADC. We'll need to configure this in order to get some decent resolution on what it is we're trying to, uh, to do or trying to accomplish. So, A in 0, 1021, or 2, 3, 4, whatever. It seems right to me. But let's make sure. So, 1 bit, in this case, 1 bit, actually I should say 1 count, one count equals three millivolts. So let's get this here, this amount of counts, and multiply it by three. And that should give us the amount of millivolts which is being read into the ADC. So let's just do this down here. So I'll copy that line, paste it down there, and um, multiply by the amount of millivolts. So multiply by three millivolts. And then let's re-upload it. Done. Control Shift and M to get the serial console back up. And this second value here should be the amount of voltage we're reading into the Arduino. So if you think back when I said um, feed in 3.07 volts, well, that value should be here in the second value here. But of course, this is in millivolts, not volts. So uh, 3,000 72 or 3062 or whatever millivolts in volts is 3.07 volts. So if you look at your multimeter now, you should see that you're feeding in 3.07 volts. And now if I was to change this, so if you go to your potentiometer and just change it a little bit, let's say we'll bring it to 2 volts. 
and it is reading 2022 millivolts which is pretty much spot on so the ADC does actually work and it works really well but now what's all this business about gain and how do we use it okay so I'll try and explain this gain issue now it's really not the easiest to explain but I'll try so let's say we had a device which output anywhere between minus 6 volts to plus 6 volts well if we had a device that was like that um, we would use this gain here because that makes most use of the 4096 counts but let's say we had a device which used um, well, sorry which output anywhere from 0 volts to 5 volts then which one would we use well if it is from 0 to 5 volts we'd still have to use this gain here and the reason being is because the next gain is too low because we could potentially be reading 5 volts which would damage the ADC because this one doesn't go up to 5 volts only this one does goes to 6 volts but we'd lose half of the resolution because the value we're trying to read uh, doesn't go below 0 and as you know half of the resolution or half of the counts cater for below 0 so minus 6 to 0 but anyway um, let's say we had another device which only output from 0 volts to 1 volt as its full scale well we'd be wasting a whole lot of resolution if we kept to this gain here because 2000 or let's say 2000 counts are dedicated from 0 to 6 volts so if we were to use something that outputs a, a 1 volt we'd be losing a massive amount of resolution so if you were to choose this gain here it would focus or spread all of the 2048 counts over just one volt and therefore we get much much better resolution so that's why you'd want to change the gain so you don't want the gain to be uh, too high that you lose accuracy but at the same time you don't want it to be too low that the maximum you could read in is over this value because if you do to do that you could potentially damage your ADC so uh, think carefully and choose the correct one okay so let's pretend we've got a device and the device outputs from 0 to 256 millivolts so if we had such a device there's no way we'd want to use any of these ones here potentially you might use this one but I'm inclined to go for this one so our device outputs a maximum of 256 millivolts so let's get rid of these other ones to start with let's delete them and let's delete the comment okay so we're using a gain of 16 now what right so you see over here where we've got multiplied by 3 millivolts we can't use that anymore we, now we want to multiply by this because one count equals 0 0.125 millivolts now so um, let's upload this oh there's one thing to do before we upload it though actually um, turn the potentiometer right down so that you're feeding in 0 volts done and then control shift M to get the serial console up right so make sure your potentiometer is turned right down and now I'm going to set my multimeter to um, the millivolt range now it's important here that we don't go over 256 millivolts so get your multimeter set and then put your hand on your uh, potentiometer and very slowly crank it up right but do not exceed 256 millivolts because you could damage your um, your ADC so let's slowly crank it up 250 if I can get it there there we go 258 I've got that's okay 258 and you can see there that that accounts for the full 2047 um, counts let me just turn that up a little bit more 
so that's as high as it'll go but hopefully that demonstrates the um the way this works this gain issue demonstrates the way it works it's basically all to do with precision and you can choose different gains depending on what sort of precision you want so there we go i hope that helped you and um thank you for watching my videos bye